What's a business expense? This issue often comes up when someone owns their own business or has rental income. Figuring out what business expenses you can subtract from self-employment income can sometimes be tricky. If the amount isn't correct, the court may do what's called an add back. Before we explain further, keep in mind, these are general rules. Each case is very fact dependent. Speak to an attorney for legal advice or for more personalized information. Let's start with what is business income? Business income is your gross receipts minus business expenses. But what's a business expense? For child support, a business expense is an expenditure that is required for the operation of the business. What's required? This isn't always straightforward and may require looking closely at your expenditures. Here are some examples of expenditures that may not be required for running your business. Say you have a home office. Is the money spent cleaning your entire house or your electric bill for the entire house required to run your business? What about food or meal expenses? If you claim your cell phone bill for your business, the question may be if you have another cell phone or you use this one cell phone for personal and business. Finally, cars and mileage. If you only have one car and use it for personal and business uses, writing off all your gas or mileage may not be possible. These are just examples of cases that come up. The important thing to remember is that an expense is something that is required for your business. Another important issue is whether depreciation deductions count as business expenses. People with rental income often take depreciation deductions on their taxes. Sometimes people do this with their cars if they're self-employed and drive a lot. These type of deductions may not be allowed when calculating your income for child support purposes. Thus, you often cannot count deductions as business expenses. So then what happens? Add backs. If the expense or deduction is not necessary for your business operations, then the court may add this money back into your income when they're calculating child support.